So uh, welcome back. Uh, the one uh, that uh, you see probably, or at least I see uh, on my screen, uh, is uh, uh, Jose Manuel uh, Perez Tornero. Hello, Jose Manuel. Hello, how are you, my friend? Uh, with a nice, uh, lively red uh, shirt. Uh, and uh, we also have uh, Jose Manuel comes more from the south of Europe, uh, is in Spain, uh, is uh, we go up to the north uh, to meet uh, Campio uh, Varis, that is uh, in Finland, Finland. Uh, Finland, uh, Finland. Thank yeah. you. Good evening, afternoon. Hi, Tapio. Uh, Tapio is our uh, global thinker and uh, really the man that has uh, inspired uh, a lot of the things uh, that we have done uh, at, uh, at EAB. For a more formal uh, is, uh, introduction, uh, I tell you that uh, uh, Tapio is uh, uh, the uh, professor emeritus. Uh, you, you have worked in many different uh, is, uh, is, uh, uh, is, uh, functions in your career. Is, uh, you have uh, 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 chair, chair at, uh, the at the University of Tampere, at, uh, at uh, UNESCO chair in global e-learning. Is, uh, you were uh, together with uh, with uh, with Jose Manuel uh, and uh, myself also participating actively in the very early days of uh, the media literacy expert group of uh, the, the European Commission. You uh, do things uh, like uh, um, you are director of the University of Pisa, uh, which is uh, something nice to, to hear that exists, the University of, of Peace of the United Nations. Uh, is uh, your work uh, and uh, and uh, travel uh, all over the the, the globe, uh, Costa Rica, in, in South America, in uh, in uh, Finland, uh, China, and uh, everywhere. Is that um, together what what you have? Uh, you have uh, a few things in in common with Jose Manuel. You have written uh, many books and and articles on on topics uh, is, uh, that uh, relate uh, broadly to, to media literacy. Is, uh, how many articles have you written, Tapio? Scientific ones? Uh. Maybe 300. I don't know. It's a long time ago. I stopped counting. Maybe less. Maybe <laughs> depending how you... Now, nowadays, the criteria are more strict. Maybe they are much less. So is a, there is a lot of knowledge, and then we we, we go to uh, to 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 Jose Manuel. That I think uh, is uh, let, let's start from that, Jose Manuel. How many articles or books and things? Uh, by the way, you have written a book together. We will mention it later. Is uh, how many scientific papers have you written, Jose Manuel? I do not want to know. <laughs> <laughs> the most important is the the next one. The future. <laughs> no, no, no. Jose Manuel is, uh, is a professor no, no. of, uh, of uh, at, uh, you are also a journalist, uh, no? is at uh, the University Autonoma de Barcelona. The, you are also UNESCO chair, is on, uh, on uh, uh, media literacy and uh, you have uh, work uh, a lot on uh, research, you are still uh, is, uh, uh, conducting research and uh, coordinating uh, research on media literacy broad topics uh, in, in, uh, from, uh, from Barcelona. No? Is both of you very international, is, uh, both of you speak uh, uh, Italian, there are not many Finnish that do. <laughs> The, but uh, we, we, I'm afraid we are going to have this, this discussion is in English. Huh? The, so is, I, I don't continue to, to in the introduction because if I read the, your uh, CV, the, the time is gone uh, and uh, before we get to the end. Um, just for the participants, uh, be aware that you will get a lot of informed knowledge and wisdom, obviously is hopefully from, from this uh, uh, conversation. Briefly is uh, the, the exercise that, uh, that we are doing is uh, uh, meant to inspire, is uh, to, to, to reflect, uh, is in a very broad uh, way, is uh, in, uh, to, to bring and to throw ideas, uh, is, uh, is a, a on, on various different uh, concepts. So, is, uh, so far we have been uh, quite uh, 
happy and successful uh, with uh, with uh, the the conversations that uh, we have had uh, uh, so far. So let, let's see how it goes today. Last remind uh, before I, I give you the, the floor uh, is that uh, participants can ask uh, questions to the question and answer uh, section. We are live on Facebook, uh, is on uh, uh, Instagram, we are live on Zoom, obviously. So the, the video will also be available on, on uh, YouTube uh, later on, so people can ask and intervene from different uh, means. Um, so, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> welcome. The, um, we, we thought a bit that uh, we, could, uh, we could start uh, with, uh, you have a very, uh, uh, a vision of how is, uh, is, uh, uh, who, no, is uh, where we are going uh, when we talk about uh, uh, the role of technology, communication, uh, media, media literacy is uh, is uh, no, is, there is uh, a lot that is happening. Uh, is uh, so let's define first uh, is uh, where we are at the moment. Uh, which are the main issues uh, that we have to face, uh, existential ones uh, or or a more uh, con concrete one uh, is uh, in. Um, if I, I I would ask you. Uh, uh, Tapio, is uh, where would you know? Uh, is uh, it, this word is defined a bit by ideology, religion, culture, socioeconomic? Uh, is uh, uh, where are we? Are we which is our position at the moment? Are you worried? Are you happy? Did you predict uh, that uh, what is happening is, is happening? Thank you. I, I have been thinking how much we are influenced uh, what is happening in the United States of America. It's very obvious now because of the elections and the political changes, but in general, at least in the Western world and the European Western world, uh, we look at the world very much still with the Eurocentric approach and very much American influenced. Is it good or bad is another thing. But it's surprising how much people and media, even in my country, which is not part of the United States, uh, is following day and night every single de detail of how different states in America are voting. That may be good, but what I'm worried about is that this is not the only world which is decisive for the future. But let's stop for a minute. I'm not going to talk long, but what I find interesting in this moment is that uh, following what is happening in America is also happening here in our part of the world, very much moralistic arguments and moralism is on the rise, even idealism. But this is American history. America has always been a struggle between realists and idealists. And it, it has uh, led to different type of policies. If we follow this world, uh, go, we probably go to have stronger mo moralistic arguments like human rights on the rise. What I mean is that it's interesting now to see how religion and philosophy in this way are coming back because there must be ethics, there must be moral based on something. And it's so interesting to look at both sides of the leading American parties. They are quoting the Bible. E even the uh, president-elect speaks about healing, quoting Bible. And the other side was using uh, believers very much, or Christians' movements. Doesn't mean that they are Christian or believers, but this question of faith is coming to the agenda and in the media, what does it mean? Because the other actors like China and the big actors in Asia in general have their own agenda and their own moral and their own ethical base. This is something that we are lost. We have to go to the civilizational thinking and I have been thinking about this and I have some more comments to make, but if this is the opening, Opening statement by me is it is that we are for different reasons we are going at this moment 
to this direction of, of moral ethical uh, 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 argumentation. It doesn't mean that the world changes to the better, but at least this rhetoric and the, the narrative and this political talk and media seem to reflect at least for some time. This uh, Jose Manuel uh, comment uh, on what uh, Tapio said uh, is. Yes, I, I agree with, <coughs> with Tapio normally. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I think we, we need a new approach to find new solutions for the problem we have. We know that uh, we need to uh, rethink globalization, rethink the standardization of culture. Uh, to rethink also the materialistic approach uh, in our life. Uh, economic is not the only word we can uh, pronounce. Uh, and then I think it's the moment of a kind of new humanism. That means we need uh, a spiritual approach, a moral approach, a conventional conversational approach. It's more important that in this shock of coronavirus pandemic, we need that uh, a new kind of uh, uh, social relations, more equal, more equality, and uh, with one goal that we must not never forget is the peace, the cooperation between uh, among people and 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 this cooperation might need uh, equality equity this is for, uh, fundamental i think we must think also our approach to build the social the information society we need an, another approach is uh, is uh, the i i knew and uh, uh that uh, we, we were going to have uh, this kind of conversation, I really love it, uh, is, uh, but we have already reached the peaks and we are already talking about uh, culture, religion, ideologies, uh, no? is, uh, is, uh, uh, moral, uh, moralism, uh, is, uh, these are uh, concepts uh, that uh, uh, obviously they, they have to form uh, no? is, or to, to, to start with the, the, the conversation that, uh, that we are going to have uh, is uh, the, not to agree on, on everything uh, is uh, I would like to ask you is uh, um, f first of all when, when Jose Manuel you, you, you mentioned about we should we, we, we who is we because it's, uh, it seems uh, for instance, that if we talk about uh, uh, the, the, the Western uh, society, okay. for we are better yes. off, the other they suffer a bit the consequences and the other way around. Okay. Uh, I understand your question, your question and it's very important, very well, well formulated because when we talk about we, there are two, two, two solutions, two ways. One is we accept that the people we have uh, different interests, different, interest, different uh, um, positions, and we can ferment this, the humanity in many, many, many collectivities. But I think that the most important, and in the book we have writing together, Tapio and me, we talk about humanism. Humanism is, the, uh, is a kind of conviction that we are the same actor. The humanity is an actor. And then we are defending a kind of a new uh, citizenship, global citizenship. And then for me, this is we. What can we do? We, is, uh, wait, wait, wait uh, Jose Manuel, a second. Is, uh, do, do you agree, Tapio? Is, uh, so we is the human beings, uh, is all of us. Uh, is, well, it, this... is it realistic that then we will uh, all agree on, on something uh, to go towards uh, that objective? Yes, let me. Let me tell, I, I have tried to think, who am I to say that humankind or mankind, hum, we are one, we can speak about uh, all humanity. This is from our Christian background, it is so, because we look at this world as, as one, but so do the Chinese, but they, of course their philosophy is different. It's not so much based on uh, any particular uh, Western type of philosophy, but 
but uh, they they do think I, I remember my own lectures in in China for example this uh, global citizenship that Jose Manuel and we we are advocating global citizenship I remember not long ago maybe 10 years ago I was lecturing in one big city university in China and I used this word for teach it was a teacher conference I, I used the word media literacy and education for global citizenship and the teachers were embarrassed because this concept global citizenship that didn't mean anything in their vocabulary and I was a little bit embarrassed because I thought maybe I made a mistake perhaps I I'm labeled a kind of foreign converter who tries to change their basic thinking as teachers. But then luckily the Chinese authorities helped me telling that, that what the professor is trying to say is that the world, the global world has new level and new type of problems that are global and we have to solve them together as global citizens. So they helped me out of this uh, uh, this vocabulary or this definitional problem. So I do think that we can speak in the name of, of mankind or humankind, but still the concept of humanism is more controversial. And hmm. maybe we can elaborate that a little bit if you want. Is, uh, is uh, I, I, um, because I, I, we could link it for the sake of the conversation. Obviously, I think that the three of us, we agree on, on uh, everything that, that, that we discuss, but for the sake of the conversation, I will link it with what you were saying at the beginning about the moralistic. Uh, is, uh, if we have uh, the role of saying this is right and this is wrong, uh, that this is a sermon, uh, is a fall of us, uh, is uh, the yeah is not moral or, or no, it's not ethical as you say it's moralistic it's like uh, giving instructions rather than educating people no is uh, and uh, moreover and uh, we can come to the point uh, politically is uh, how can uh, no is uh, following uh, this uh, this uh, I don't know if you have followed this issue about uh, the, the the digital tax uh, where France and other countries want to impose a, a, a tax to uh, social media so that they pay the tax on the revenue that originate in Europe. But then uh, is the, the, the United States uh, are saying, well, if you do is a tax uh, my American companies, then uh, I will not buy your wine uh, anymore. So mm. is, uh, is it, uh, are we ever going to all agree uh, on something is very no American first, uh, the populism and uh, and uh, or or Finnish first or uh, no is a uh, is it uh, a fight for civilization where progressive uh, is uh, Jose Manuel? What do you think? Oh, I think that we can understand that we are we uh, global global actor, but at the same time we can accept that always there is a conflict, a tension between between fragmentation and unity and then but I, it is not only two ideas two concepts i uh, we can feel every every one of us the conflict in a personal relation uh, two peoples two strange people uh, when we feel we we are involved in, in an encounter an encounter with the other we meet the other we need at the same time uh, a balance be, uh, between diversity and unity. Mm. But I think the conversation is the most important. You have mentioned the market. We need conversation about the market to balance the power. We need conversation uh, to, to solve the conflict in the uh, when the people meet, when the people uh, live together. And be sure that in the next future, when, once the virus, the coronavirus, um, led, led us, I think we, we, we come back to the flight, to the traveling, to the migration, to the, and then we need in every time, local, is empirical, it's not, I'm not talking about general ideas. We need in a, in a personal conversation, we need the tension between uh, unity, and fragmentation mm. and diversity. In the balance of, of these two mm, feelings, I am not talking about words because sometimes words mm, 
is a kind of division, uh, promote a kind of division. I, I am talking about the emotional approach, the feeling, the, the, the conceptual, even the artistic and poetic need to, to, to keep a balance between diversity and unity. Thank you. Then, in, in, excuse me, one, one day more. In a, in a society where information and media are very important, the most important function of the media is the mediation, the mediation between people. I have been thinking, uh, because some people like me speak languages that nobody speaks in the world, that we have had to learn all the time to learn other languages and other cultures in order to communicate. This is a small country or small culture, uh, pri maybe privileged, but also a problem. So I have been forced to put myself into the position of others and usually whether I like it or not, follow the big cultural or stronger cultural domination in, in thinking. I think that we, we should not um, uh, take it. Populism is not only the thing that is in the media re reflected. It, it is also autonomous reflection of uh, marginalized people or people who have, been, who have been left outside. So I'm not taking a, a right or wrong uh, or left or right approach at all when I try to analyze societies of being patriotic. I think that patriotism, patriotism is not the same as nationalism and not the same as, as uh, uh, exclusive uh, political discrimination. Patriotism is something positive in almost all cultures I know. And this is Amita Etzioni, for example, a British sociologist who is still writing at, at the age of 92 or 93. He just wrote a recent public book on, on, on patriotism and patriotic, which is in America a big, important message. Nationalism is, is problem. Nationalism has always uh, favored aggressive policies and in Europe particularly. And when we come to the humanity of humans, we have to remember that and I mean, Jose Manuel, myself, when we wrote the book, the one on media literacy, humanism, at least my motivation was uh, from the nine, 2000, first decade of 2000, when I studied the history of um, Julian Huxley, the founder, first uh, the secretary, uh, director general of UNESCO, he spoke about higher humanity. And he, he saw that we, we have to put somehow together all these religious traditions of Judaism, of Muslim, Islamic, Christian, uh, what have you. Uh, and it's difficult. It doesn't mean that we have to convert. He was, an, I think he was very much uh, secular, even atheist. But still, these are real things. And what, what, what we face now, if you look at the Islamic world, and Europe today, and you particularly from the Southern Europe, you realize this, this is much more deeper problem than uh, so, so superficial communication and how to deal with the interfaith or dialogue of is with, with these deeper meanings is somehow underestimated, undervalued in our process. This is something no more complicated than what, what, what the political technocrats say. Is uh, the the um, well we we uh, for sure there's no doubt that as as, uh, as Emmanuel has mentioned conversation and debate uh, is uh, is uh, no, is uh, should underpin uh, is uh, the, 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 the the democracy uh, somebody is saying is the fight for democracy no is uh, so the, this is uh, and in fact uh, somehow in a very humble way is the purpose of of this uh, these conversations if uh, i go back uh, to uh, to to more media media literacy communication and technology is um, let, let's put it in a different perspective uh, is uh, I was listening uh, is a tap to uh, one of uh, of uh, your uh, seminar that uh, that you have uh, uh, coordinated a while ago in in, in Thailand, uh, and uh, um, there one one of the issues that uh, that you are discussing is the role of technology. It's not mm -hmm. anymore 
is as it was before a, a, an information society, is not even anymore a media society, is uh, somebody's call it an algorithmic is yeah. a society. So yeah. a place where <clears throat> the, the, the decision, our behavior, <clears throat> sorry, is very much influenced by, by uh, technology is uh, in good or bad things, uh, is uh, for commercial or political reasons, uh, is uh, technologies versus human beings, okay? Is uh, the, uh, and again, uh, obviously technology is also for good, is mainly for good, uh, and is uh, indeed, uh, is, uh, no, uh, although sometimes uh, he has degenerated uh, to be used for, uh, for uh, to serve the interest of a few, is uh, in the future it can be used for 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 the common good uh, is it is it what was the out i mean not the outcome because i, I think it's difficult to to, to say uh, tapio mm -hmm. is uh but could it be another perspective uh, humans uh, and technology yes i think that um, this is a this broadening our approach because media is one form of technology communication technology and in a way I've always been a little bit skeptical of limiting our approach to communication to the media. Media is only one way, one part of the communication process. The communication process starts with the human being, and then the languages and means, and then the media comes in between. And then there's a, again, there is a human being receiving, and using, interpreting, and and analyzing. But uh, my view is it's only my view, but it is a view I quote. I, I borrowed from even Henry Kissinger, who is one of the big political leaders of, of these years. He says that science and, techno science and technology are the light motif. They are the spirit of this era. So it's not religion, it's not nationalism, it's not, uh, it's not uh, intelligence, it is science and technology. They are the general, everybody believes. It's a kind of, not, not a faith, but a belief that science and technology are the way to everything. It may be, but it's not the new in history, because if we go backwards in, in history and we look at the great catastrophes and all of the alarming things like nuclear weapons and all kinds of pollutions, even the population growth in the 17th century with Malthus and all this, they believe that we will be overpopulated because we are growing, population is growing too fast. But technology sells, uh, saved better ways of agriculture and then people conquered uh, colonies. But, but science and technology are not an answer to the final questions of, of moral, ethical good. I don't think that they, they can help, but they are not the answers, they are ways. Is, uh, is, uh, yes, Jose well. Manuel. Oh, I would like to, to add some, some words because um, the two concepts, humanity and technology, as uh, tension is not the only way. We, I think there is human technology as a language and as, as an instrument or business technology. Sometimes business and humanity are intention. I think, I think the problem is to accept that technology is a kind of determination. Technology for us must be an option. Uh, the most important of the humanity and the people are the languages. Mm. And the language, the idea, the concept can manage, must manage the technology. Because when, when, when uh, we are thinking about something, we are thinking about the problem and the solution and the instrument to, to implement the solution. This is technology. But when, when there is the business discourse about technology, uh, they, are trained, they are trying to impose their own idea of technology that is not uh, sometimes convenient for, the, for us, for people, for, for every one of us. This is the, this is the, because always the humanity has been improved by technology but sometimes the way is not the correct mm. the, the uh, uh 
uh, is uh, the, the, the last bit that, uh, that you are mentioning, uh, Tapio, is, uh, yeah, that we have faced uh, existential threats uh, is, uh, before and that we, we came out of it. Uh, is, uh, so it's not that now we are already in this uh, post-democracy area, or, or yes or not, is, uh, we will be able to solve uh, is uh, don't know, is uh, whichever issues or problem uh, is uh, we we will have to face uh, is uh, mm -hmm. th th there is a correlation I see with uh, with uh, when we talk uh, and uh, again at the AMI we, we we do it often uh, in between uh, the the environment uh, and the digital environment is uh, yeah. for the environment uh, we talk a lot and uh, the the awareness has been rising uh, to say ah well is. Uh, be careful, climate change, uh, and uh, if we don't act and do something now, is uh, it will be very problematic, uh, is uh, to say the least. Yeah. The, for the digital environment, uh, we should learn a bit to 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 to, to take care of this. And I have the feeling that uh, people uh, is uh, and uh, uh, they, they don't have yet this awareness. No? Is is technology is going fast and communication means of the, the communication they are changing. Uh, and uh, even when we talk about artificial intelligence, uh, is uh, mm, we don't real realize uh, that uh, our behavior uh, is, I mean, we don't want to say manipulated, uh, or, but is uh, indeed uh, this dopamine uh, that, uh, that is, uh, no, make us, uh, 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 you know, is uh, going on our telephone and see the notification and this, uh, no, technology is using us uh, instead of serving uh, the interest of, of people or, uh, in, in a more complex panorama, obviously it's not all like that, but is uh, the the yeah the, there is an issue about uh, how can we take care of of this digital environment? I if if I may say um, a little bit broaden our approach because um, Paolo was referring to the concept of peace and also Jose Manuel, I think we. We are all concerned about peace and, and particularly world peace. We take it for granted that peace continues and, and it, is, it is given, it will be there. I don't think that there is any guarantee that the internet world peace is automatically following. I'm not pessimistic, but I want to say that this is another area where technology and, and related phenomena including media and, and uh, aware of, uh, consciousness uh, come to the picture because if you look at the history, wars and conflicts have been the accelerator of technology. All great innovations of technology have been created for the purpose of war or war fighting or that type of conflict. Very little, if anything, is, has started to promote peace. We have to, the whole peace research, which I represented 20 years, 1970s, uh, it's, it has almost disappeared. We do have peace workers and uh, all kind of, but not research in a critical sense that what is needed. And we, I come back to the challenge that uh, David Attenborough and others speak about the collapse of civilization because of the climate change and all these catastrophic changes. Why don't we take it for serious, the ecological civilization that was that is promoted by China? It is a Chinese propaganda, of course, but it started already in Russia in the 1980s. But it has not been taken seriously because it has come from the Eastern, authoritarian or communist world. But what is ecological civilization in context to what is, exists now? Or is it the propaganda only? This, for the peace research, I would take serious approach which I have not done, but I'm just asking, why doesn't we take it too seriously? Hmm. The, the, uh, yeah, w w when we mention about people, uh, is again, uh, is uh, no, that the, there are uh, some time in certain circumstances, so you, you were mentioning about this uh, the, the election in the USA, and it's very clear that this. Uh, people notwithstanding that are living in the same country, they have a completely different uh, idea is uh, from, from one uh, is a state to the other. No? It, it, it is like uh, 
is that they, they are uh, children of, of the same family somehow, but obviously in, uh, they, they come from different uh, uh, social, economic or educational, uh, is, uh, and uh, they come up to completely different uh, is, uh, 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 no, ideas. Uh, is, uh, regardless of what is right and wrong, uh, it seems that the role of propaganda or, or information uh, is still very, very powerful. Is uh, to which point are we free? Is uh, to which point the ideas uh, that we have are, are truly ours? No, uh, I think as uh, W have said, peace is not the end. Peace is a moment. Freedom is not the end. We never, we never are uh, completely free. We freedom is a movement, and democracy is a movement. It's an action. Then uh, the power of information. Uh, has increased a lot, has increased, but the power of disinformation more than information. Think about the war we have now in Europe. Think about on Europe, near from Europe. We have Belarusia. How many, how many journals are talking about the situation in Belarusia? It's this conflict in life. Think about the people. Uh, fighting in Armenia against Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan against uh, Armenia. Mm -hmm. 7,000 deaths in, in some weeks. But, but nobody knows now in Europe. Uh, ask young people, old people, what, what is happening in Armenia and Azerbaijan. And there is a lot of people that didn't remember the genocide of Armenia in the first uh, war of our, the last uh, century. <clears throat> this is a kind of disinformation that not promote the peace. Mm -hmm. There is no effort to promote the, the no for literally effort to promote the peace. But this is more important. You have mentioned something about technology and the and Tapio about the technology of the war. Now the technology, the intelligence, the artificial intelligence is applied to the world with drones, with guns, with new weapons. Uh, this is uh, this is not this is not a progress. This is not a progress. And then we are we are um, we accept normally that the army develop the technology, and after in the second moment the civil society accept. As internet, internet is a, is a good example. Internet was a research project uh, uh, of the army in the United States, and after yeah. uh, it was uh, in the civic society. But why? Why we must accept that? Mm. I would say also that uh, the digital world, uh, as it is now, and, and Paolo was referring already to the tax and all kind of control European American company. But, but uh, I think the situation is, is very much the same as it was with the nuclear or atomic weapons in the 1940s before uh, the other side, Russia, uh, developed its own uh, atomic weapon. And then they started to some kind of, uh, if not negotiate at least agreements and arms control. And by the way, atomic uh, and nuclear arms race is still a danger. It hasn't disappeared. It is very acute now. We will see what happens by February if they continue or not continue the START agreement and, and what happens with Iran for that matter. But I'm saying that if you don't get in, in, a, in a digital area, a kind of, because United Nations is, cannot do anything. It's not United Nations mandate to, to, to convene. It is a big company business, American Chinese primarily, what they want. And the governments on their sides, we are lost in the digital uh, unless we get some sort of uh, whatever it could be uh, 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 forum. Uh, we cannot mm -hmm. do it as, but we didn't, we didn't stop nuclear arms race either, but we fought very strongly against it when I was young in 1960s and 70s and so forth. Now there should be a movement of making more demands of um, uh, uh, 
having new, a digital world under some sort of international regime. What it could be, I don't, I don't know. Let me let me add something about that. Uh, talking about media literacy, I think media literacy is more important than ever now, because we are more connected than ever. But it is not enough the pedagogical and educational approach to media literacy. I think we need a political approach just now, mm -hmm. because you have mentioned you have mentioned the question of the secrecy of the algorithm, mm -hmm. the 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 power of the of the companies, of the Google, of uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, mm -hmm. and the bad influence that they have about the public democratic sphere, bad influence because. They, they open the way for disinformation more than for information. This is an empirical result. It, there is more disinformation than information because they are not respecting laws. They are not respecting uh, the minimum, the minimum uh, respect in relation with people. And then our effort immediately, this must be in the next uh, in the next five years to implement a new political approach with more agents and we need to be more exigent with not only uh, media literacy as a justification to the um, laissez faire in uh, in the communication sphere we need a media policy we we need uh, new roles Global rules and new uh, and um, for a new activism, not only educational or pedagogical. This is a for me. It's a shift and an opportunity. But, Isa, uh, can I can I is on, on this because of the, the, there was a question also about this and there was a uh, how how can uh, uh, global peace uh, could be could be better promoted uh, and. Uh, you mentioned about activism uh, is uh, and indeed uh, about uh, the role and responsibility of certain bodies, including uh, policymakers, uh, the, um, and, and rules and regulations. Uh, uh, is it the, the role of what, what people should do? They should protest, uh, they should, uh, um, how can concretely, uh, what can they do to, to protest? There, there, there are many, many factors and many, many dimensions when the people, I think, we need, we need to act. One is, one is obviously, uh, personal responsibility. That imply uh, rules in the families, rules in the relation personal, and a kind of discipline using the media. This is very, very important. But it's necessary to implement new policies, new rules, new, uh, um, new, Political approach. That means uh, just 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 in the last election in, in the United States. In order to uh, forget me if I uh, give the focus to, uh, to the debate. But the difference between Democrats and uh, and Republican in relation with media literacy and in relation with uh, rules for media companies is essential. If you uh, remember Bernie Sanders, Warren, uh, um, uh, Harris, even Biden, they are demanding for new rules for big companies. Is, uh, and is, uh, Tampio, do, do you want to, to add something to this? So is, uh, there is a sort of consensus uh, that we need new rules. Well, new rules implemented by whom? Because laws and rules are implemented by governments. And I, I, Americans have a little bit idealistic view of the civil society as non-governmental rule of justice and the world, because that's strong in American individualistic background. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure that the peace comes 
to the eliminate government in the world. What kind of peace would the anarchistic world bring? I'm just asking. Russia was anarchistic before the revolution. Most of these. Is a, is a, a pure. I think uh, I think we have. Uh, country, uh, sorry, I anarchists. Are they going to peace or the Middle East and so forth? Let me show. I brought the publication from my youth. This is a revolutionary paper when I was young. And we. Tampio, we have a, we have a problem with, with uh, your uh, your internet connection. I think that it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is uh, we, we cannot uh, we cannot hear you, Tapio. Is uh, you you have uh, frozen on the screen and uh, notwithstanding that uh, you are in uh, Finland, that is uh, the country in Europe that has uh, the better internet connections. Uh, is uh, the the Sorry. we have difficulties in in uh, hearing yeah. you well. What? If uh, um, the the yeah maybe while uh, while Tapio comes back uh, to uh, to us uh, is uh, we, we we can carry on. Uh, I don't know Laura oh. if you can uh, do something for Tapio, but uh, restart perhaps restart the connection. Right. The um, so uh, Jose Manuel uh, is uh, uh, somebody was asking uh, if uh, if uh, you have uh, uh, no is is uh, if we have books uh, to 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 recommend in high school media is uh, for media literacy is uh, is uh, we mentioned a couple uh, is uh, is uh, one is indeed the one that we have written with uh, with Tapio about global humanism. Is uh, and uh, the, there are really many, no? Nowadays, in respect of ten years ago, when uh, when uh, media literacy was something, that I remember the very first studies that we, we we did together was to define media literacy, no? Uh, trends. Uh, Even you, you and me, we have read the book about, ah, yes. about the basic. We have also written about the basic of yeah, yeah. Uh, media yeah, literacy. Yeah. Yes, uh, there is a lot of uh, books. I recommend use the books uh, done by UNESCO. In some, depending of uh, your interest, you can find books about uh, media information literacy and journalism or education. Even the, the, there are a good projects in Europe that have produced uh, not only not only books but uh, didactic materials to to disseminate the idea of media literacy. Perhaps. I can recommend you in my blog some lecture, some uh, some uh, link. If, if, even Paolo can can recommend because he's uh, yeah, very well there is, a, there is a lot. In fact, uh, it's not it's anymore. Different. Depending resource. on the language, depending on the on the language, in English or That's French right. or Spanish or yes, there is a well. lot. Is uh, in Tapio, you you are back. Uh, is uh, yeah, we still have uh, we still have uh, difficulties. I think for the quality of of uh, the the sound. The um, maybe you you can uh, I, I don't know whether it's uh, technically would work to to restart it or over I don't know or switch on and off uh, internet. That's what I was doing with uh, my car when it was not <laughs> working. This is a <laughs> An example that the distance exists <laughs> because in the in the virtual world we think that we are together, but not. Yeah. Not the the uh, Jose Manuel, you were is uh, mentioning a lot, uh, and uh, and I know that your approach is as well as uh, being uh, educational is also you are a, a media professional. No? You have a background having work in in broadcasting. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you also have uh, a, a broad political approach. So you are quite pragmatic. And uh, I, I think this is also what, uh, what we need uh, these days. Uh, is uh, the, what you were suggesting uh, that, uh, that the people should be aware of, I put it in my words, so correct me if, uh, if I'm right, but uh, people should be aware of, of uh, what really matters to them uh, so that they can uh, find uh, 
a policy maker that that will yes. uh, will accompany them for instance we have we have in france a real problem with a teacher has been killed uh, on the street why because he was explaining the relation between humor and uh, the representation of uh, Mohammed, the Prophet Mohammed. This, this, this um, big problem um, has forced a big debate in France about the importance of education, the importance of media literacy, and the, the importance to regulating, to, excuse me, regulating uh, the public sphere and trying to introduce the respect, the moral respect and the respect to the diversity. I think this is a, a good example where uh, the multifactorial approach to the problem of the peace and the cooperation and, uh, and the, to, be, to live together is a, in the center of media literacy problems. So he was, we, uh, he was a killer because he was uh, teaching media literacy. We were discussing this. He was, with he was commenting freedom of, of expression and the, 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 this um, cartoon mm -hmm. uh, published two years before. Tampio, are you, is, uh, I, I see that, uh, uh, I, I hope that we, we have, uh, but I see you very still. Uh, is uh, he is uh, he, he doesn't seem uh, that is uh, because I would have liked uh, to ask uh, uh, you both. Uh, we are coming towards the end of this uh, of this hour. Uh, is uh, whether you uh, you, you or Emanuela look quite uh, positive after all. Uh, no, is uh, a message uh, is or, or a tip uh, or uh, no, no. Not, not positive. I, I, I'm not optimistic, but I, I have hope. For me, hope is a kind of discipline. It's not, it, it not necessary to, to be optimist, to be the enthusiast to act. I, I think it's a discipline because uh, think about the absurdity uh, to have a depression because we have problems. Problems for us, media, in, in society, in the life, uh, must be a kind of uh, motivation to act, yeah. to find solution. And then we need we need this kind of discipline. It's not important what uh, to think that the, in the future. Imagine if the future uh, will be good. We don't need to be nor optimistic nor pessimist. Is I see that well, uh, that you are become uh, a bit uh, spiritual uh, as uh, as I am uh, as well. Uh, <laughs> in addition to be <laughs> philosophical. <laughs> No, is a, is a, is a, uh, are you hopeful uh, for the for the future? Do you have a message uh, is a, that uh, participants can take uh, away with them? Is a, we, oh, is, I, I think that you will have to organize uh, a, a, a yeah. <laughs> Is uh, we, we should organize as well a new one, uh, is uh, with uh, with Tapio because oh, no, it's, uh, Patrick, yeah. Tapio. No, let me let me say, Santa Paolo, you are very practical. I think we need we, we need to be pragmatic, and then uh, to be pragmatic, we need good ideas. Good ideas. The more important is a good theory to be. Uh, I, I would say that uh, we we uh, we also need the good intentions. Yes, but but uh, even in a practical way, we need solution. And war is no solution. <laughs> it's not necessary to be uh, honest, moral, good uh, good people to find a solution because the solution is the best for us for all of us. And I think in media, this is very important. Competition is less important than that, that cooperation and complementation. And then oh, yeah. uh, there are media that, that exist promoting the stupidity of people. The that, the that. Then for me, it's better media that promote the intelligence of people, the, the power of people. 
is uh, I, I, I am uh, very very awful uh, in fact uh, when we come uh, to, to to young people and to the energies the ideas you mentioned uh, that they have and they uh, good uh, values is a bit banal uh, not all of them obviously but is uh, the, the yeah this idea also uh, is uh, this uh, no, is uh, in, in other uh, I, uh, remember in, in the book that you were mentioning before that uh, that we have done together we were, we were talking about collective intelligence is uh, is uh, and uh, and uh, uh, values uh, is uh, this uh, if uh, if um, Tapio would have been able to communicate properly you would have had uh, a lot. you you hear as well do you yes, I hear. Yeah, is uh, in, 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 the, the, so we, we come to the end of the hour. Is uh, I, I have to close uh, uh, because uh, everything will, would go off otherwise uh, for, uh, for us as well. Uh, is, uh, let me uh, thank uh, is, uh, the, you both, obviously is uh, because is uh, in, in these years i have learned uh, a lot from from both of you is uh, in in different ways and i am uh, grateful uh, my, myself uh, is uh, uh, tapio remain very humble i think you have a responsibility as a wise man uh, as you were mentioning before but is uh, is a uh, to, to act or to push people to act uh, because is uh, is uh, we will never get uh, everybody agreeing uh, is uh, and uh, Dante you know in the in the Divina Commedia he was pushing he was uh, putting in hell the people that knew what should have been done but they didn't do it uh, nevertheless is uh, so you have uh, you have a responsibility in there but thank you for uh, for having accepted to 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 participate to this and in fact to to thank you again uh, to have inspire this uh, this uh, this kind of uh, this format uh, say is I, I think uh, Tapio will uh, will have to organize uh, one more is uh, in uh, in which uh, will uh, will uh, will have uh, is uh, no is a uh, better communication uh, is uh, in uh, but it was good for uh, most part of uh, of the the video is uh, let me also thank not only the participants that are here but to those that are uh, on various other uh, social media is uh, the people of uh, of Avi is uh Vieri, Laura, the the Andrew, Gulls and Ocan, Fabio, uh, the yeah, they're really great, uh, Soti. And uh, uh, we um, we will next week we'll have uh, uh, again the, the European Commission, uh, we'll have uh, the, the European Federation of Journalists, uh, Ricardo Gutierrez. Uh, Juliana uh, uh, Rappert von Bismarck from Lie Detectors, uh, and uh, uh, so we do continue. Is uh, if you want to participate or give uh, feedback, uh, is uh, please feel free to do it. We have this AVI test as well that uh, you can uh, do. Uh, Jose Manuel. Sí, Paolo, I would like to thank you the the good idea to to organize this meeting. There is a long time we who have not uh, talked together. I think it's a good opportunity. It's, it's very happy for me. And you have mentioned uh, Divina Comedia and Dante, yeah. <laughs> the poetry. I would like to, to, to mention to Tomás Moro, because with the idea of Utopia, is, uh, he introduced a, a, a very, very I think benefit tension between the thing we must think and do and the thing we are doing. And this is, a, I think the, this tension is necessary just at this moment where we are in a hard uh, situation, in a difficult situation. Thanks a lot because this, uh, I have, uh, only we have lost uh, Tapio. Tapio. No completely. <laughs> Next time will be better. Thanks, thanks to the listener and the, the people have participated. Is uh, is a tap you? It looks like you are on the moon, huh? 
It's like a Houston, <laughs> we have a problem here. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> in the, the seven hell, in the seven hell. <laughs> Thank you to, to everyone. Uh, ciao. We speak Thank again. You. Ciao, ciao.